Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all safe and healthy. So today I am back at the one of one showroom where previously I have made quite a lot of videos uh, which uh, include like the AMG GTC, the Mustang Mach 1, Tesla Model 3 etc. If you want to watch all of them, you can just head to the playlist which I'll link down in the comments for you guys. But today I am here to take a look at the all new 2022 BMW X4. So I will be going through all the changes that BMW have done for the facelift. In the end I will tell you about my opinions about the car as well. So so we'll take a look at that and I just wanted to say if you guys are watching my channel for the first time so do hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notification so that you'll be the first ones to know when I upload later videos and also it tremendously helps me out so let's go ahead and take a look at the car all right guys so here it is the 2022 BMW X4 this particular car is the X drive 30i and uh, you do get three variants the X drive 30i like this one or you can get the M40i or you can get the X4 for M and the M competition. So this particular car here is the X-Drive 30i like I told you and for the price Currently, one of one, they have not put up the price of this car. But uh, later on, when I find out about the price, I'll just put it in the editing for you guys. And I'll convert it to dollars as well. Let's talk about the design now. And the big change for 2022 here is in the front. And you can see they have completely redesigned the face of the car. You have larger uh, grill, you have thinner headlights. And also, you can see the lower bumper is also totally changed over here. So before... Uh, the bumper uh, of the previous or pre facelift uh, X4 was a lot, it had a lot of horizontal lines but here you can see a lot of vertical elements are introduced and this is something I like a lot and also with the grille uh, you can see for, uh, for the first time I believe for the X4 you can get different styles of grille now if you go for the 30i like this one is you get this hexagon model but uh, if you go for the m40i you do get a double slatted grill just like the m products so that's a nice touch then the main change also in the headlights are over here i'll just put up a short b-roll for you guys so you can see how the headlights look when they're turned on with the indicators but basically the new headlights are thinner and also just a bit wider as well but they do look nice and aggressive and I like the design of the new BMW LEDs nowadays so overall pretty nice then the other change is the lower bumper so like I told you again it, a lot of horizontal lines have been replaced with some nice vertical elements and here you can see the lower bumper with the radiator is totally open and also one more thing this uh, xDrive 30i does not have ac active grill shutters uh, you do get that in the M40i so basically the grill shutters are closed when the car does not need cooling or it is shut down but as you start the car the engine might need more cooling so those shutters will open up and allow more airflow and also one cool thing you can see from the grill is the uh, bracing inside just to keep this uh, front end of the X4 a bit nice and stiff also this part here is uh, fake but I do know that on the M models that's an opening for brake cooling but here on the side you can see you have air breathers which allow the air to flow down the uh, front wheels and it reduces drag so that's all on the front and also the paint of this car is in black it's nice metallic black I hope you can see the color properly so it looks pretty nice and flaky in the sun then let's talk about the side design so the side design of the X4 is uh, unchanged from the previous model but uh, X4 is what uh, basically is the X6 or a smaller version of the X6 with the sloping roof line and if you want a traditional uh, body shape of the SUV you can go for the X3 just like the X5. So now let's take a look at the wheels or what wheels we have over here and since this car has the M Sport package one thing I forgot to told, tell you is that uh, since this has the M Sport package the front bumper design is a bit different but uh, if you go for the standard model I'll put up a photo of for you guys how that looks also most of the elements in the front or the changes that BMW have done are pretty black in uh, they're mostly in black color and due to this car being in black you cannot see those changes very clearly so I'll just put up a photo for you guys of the car in uh, Brooklyn grey and you can clearly see the changes in that so the wheels over here since this has the M Sport model so 20 inch wheels with a 245 section tire and 45 series sidewall and you can see that uh, they look pretty good with the M logo over here they are two toned so you have a silver finish here and a darker grey finish here you can also see you have your M Sport brakes right over there so overall pretty nice and tasteful design then you have your M badging right over here and these are fake winds by the way 
but they are real on the M and the M40i. Then you come to the side mirrors. So the side mirrors over here are standard BMW, nothing new here. You have a nice small LED strip for your indicators. But if you go for the M40i, you do get an extra fin over here, which allows for better airflow down the window line. Also, this being the M Sport model, you don't get any chrome window surrounds, which I like a lot. And also on the X4, you don't get any roof rails, especially on this model. I don't know if you do get it or not, but uh, over here, I have not seen any X4 with a roof rail. Then, while we are at the side, let's take a look at the fuel economy as well. So you can see this being the 2-liter model or the 30i. It has a pretty nice fuel economy. It's in the excellent category with 14.1 km per liter. So that's pretty nice. Obviously, if you go above the range with the M40i, you will uh, obviously the fuel economy will come down. Then at the rear, you can see the rear tires are also same in size, 20 inch, similar design with your M Sport brake calipers. The only difference is the profile is less than the front tires and it is a lot wider. So those were 245. This is 275 section tires and a 40 series sidewall so because most of the or the four wheel drive system of the x4 which by the way it comes as standard with is a rear drive based uh, four wheel drive system so that's why most of the power usually goes to the rear wheels that's why they are a lot wider then let's take a look at the rear design now so the rear design is mostly unchanged from the previous x4 and the biggest changes are here at the lower bumper and again since the car is in black i will put up a photo of the car in the brooklyn gray paint which shows the changes much better but basically what they have done is again all those horizontal elements which i told you are changed in favor of a lot more vertical elements as well so you have reflectors over here the exhaust design has changed since this is also the m sport model you do get a small diffuser kind of uh, design but obviously it's not functional and the exhausts are also in black surround i hope you can just see it clearly so they are real exhaust you get one on each side right over here so pretty nice also you do get this uh, kind of new bumper design you can just see the shape of it over here so it shows up better in that uh, lighter paint color which i'll just put up the photo for you guys then the tail lights are unchanged you but i think they have made it all led and uh, they have smoked it out a bit and you have your led indicators uh, right here i'll just put up a photo for you guys or a video of how the indicators look you have your x4 badge you have your bmw badge and you have your x drive 30i badge over here and you have your reverse camera right over here Okay, sorry for the weird cut guys. So what I wanted to talk about is uh, the main difference between the X3 and the X4 is uh, over here at the back. So because of the sloping roof line, many people prefer the X4 just due to that sportier looking design. But so in terms of practicality though, the X3 is a lot better because you make a lot of compromises with the design of the X4 over here in the boot space, uh, which we'll take a look at right now. So the boot space, to open it, you can use the key fob or you can use a button on the interior or you can just pull up over here just like that it's an electrically operated boot so it opens automatically for you guys so here it is the boot space and at first glance it's a nice square shape and you won't have any problem if you have small luggage but if you put uh, taller items which you have to stack vertically you won't have any problem until this side over here but as soon as you bring them on this side over here that is at the end of the boot uh, the boot space won't close because of that sloping roof line it's uh, most of the vertical items you'll have to put it at the back though so in terms of space what are we talking about so the whole uh, space of the boot with the second row seats folded up is around 530 liters so that's like 19 cubic feet and if you fold down the second row seats you do get 1444 liters of space so that's in its sense pretty good but if you compare it with the X3, the X3 with the second row up, you get around 820 liters of space. That is pretty huge. And if you fold down the rear seats in the X3, you do get 1700 liters of space. So again, pretty big uh, difference between the two cars. So if you do know that you won't be carrying a lot of stuff in your boot, you can go for the X4. But if you need a lot of practicality, you can go for the X3. Other features in the boot are you have some storage space here. Uh, you do have these hooks over here and you have some nice tethering points here mm -hmm. and also the boot floor opens up like this and you can see currently this has all the number plates and stuff over here with the manual and also currently this is the base model this boot floor is not on gas struts but i think if you go for the uh, what do you say yeah if you go for the m40i or the m3 or some m4 or something like that like the x4m i mean to say uh, you'll get this boot floor on gas struts also these load covers you can store them inside 
because it has nice cutaways for that so pretty cool overall and now let's take a look at what's powering the bmw x4 so to open the boot of the x4 you have the classic bmw hood latch which you have to double pull so that's all and now let's take a look at the engine bay so here is the engine bay of the x4 and uh, this one is the x drive 30i like i told you many times before so it has a 2 liter 4 cylinder which is a twin power turbo and it produces 248 horsepower with 258 pound feet of torque that's like 350 newton meters of torque and it is attached to an 8 speed automatic which is standard across across all the x4s by the way and also with uh, with the combination of the four wheel drive system this car can go from 0 to 100 in 6 seconds which is pretty impressive for a SUV so overall pretty nice so over here you can also see these strut braces over here to keep this area stiff also if you go for the M40i you will get a 3 liter inline 6 which is again turbocharged and that produces 380 horsepower and like 365 newton or pound feet of torque which is for around 500 newton meters of torque and that car with the same gearbox and four wheel drive system can go to 0 to 100 in around 4.2 seconds which is again very fast and very near to the M or X4 M territory which I think can do it in 3.8 seconds so overall pretty nice that's all in the engine bay okay so that was all there is to show on the engine bay so one thing before we head to the interior I just wanted to say that I have been seeing more than 90% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed so I had a small request that uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notifications because it helps my channel out a lot it is free for you guys and it also helps my channel in becoming recognized as well because it will allow me to come to or get invited to launch events and other events that occur across the world so i can bring content all for most of the new cars faster to you guys uh, rather than waiting for them so do consider subscribing and now let's take a look at the interior okay so now We'll head to the interior of the X4 and I had a small, uh, you can say, kind of an easter egg to show. So when you open both of these doors, you can see here on the B pillar, X4 is embossed over here and it looks pretty nice and it makes the car feel a bit more special just because of those kind of touches. But uh, as you can see, when I close the door, you cannot see that. So it's just a small, uh, tiny detail, which I like a lot. So now let's take a look at the door trim. So here BMW are obviously famous for their uh, interior quality and uh, this car is not uh, an exception by the way. So let's take a look. So the door trim here is again you have nice soft touch materials up top and you have your uh, nice soft touch leather again on the armrest across over here with your nice white stitching. Now this trim I don't exactly know what it is but I do think it is plastic but um, the design is pretty nice. You have a nice silver trim which goes along the bottom. You have a nice silver door handle. You have the lock and unlock buttons and memory seating and obviously on that silver trim you can see the X is embossed right over here again a nice touch from BMW also the small strip over here which you can see acts as an ambient lighting and also when you open the door it will flash red especially when the car is on so just to warn people that are coming from the side that the door is open and they can avoid crashing into it then the switches over here for the window are pretty nice nice and metallic so window switches and your side mirror controls and this is your uh, button to open the tailgate and again you have the nice soft touch material right at the bottom with a good amount of door storage over here then on the side you have the m sill plates because this has the m sport package if you go for the standard car you'll have just the x4 return i believe and then here we have these nice red leather seats and you can see you have a nice design in them and overall the, they are pretty nice and soft to the touch and you have your electric seat controls right here for your uh, adjustment and these are for your side bolsters so overall pretty nice and also you have the classic BMW thigh rest which you can open and close which will be nice for uh, taller riders so now we'll jump inside and I'll talk about the changes in the interior okay so I'm in the interior of the BMW X4 and uh, let's take a look at all the stuff you have here and the controls so you have your headlight control right over here with your uh, parking lights and these are the display for the brightness for these particular displays and I don't know what this is though. Then you have a fuse box down at the bottom over there and I hope you can see the pedals. They are nice and aluminum. I'll just zoom in for you guys. So pretty nice overall. Then the steering wheel. So this one is the M Sport package and you can see we have the M steering wheel right here and uh, it's nice thick chunky bmw uh, steering wheel and it feels good to hold you have some paddle shifters here which are okay and nice and clicky 
and you on the steering wheel itself you have these nice uh, aluminum inserts which i like a lot and also this horn button also feels very nice let's hear the sound of the horn though so pretty okay so here you have a speaker grill and um, on the steering wheel itself though you have these are your buttons to control the uh, cruise control system and this is for this display right over here so also you have your voice commands call and all the volume and stuff then over here on this side you have your indicator controls and also this is to this button particular is to control this uh, instrument cluster and this is for your windshield wipers and also let's start with our uh, dashboard quality so the dashboard quality again is uh, pretty nice all BMW dashboard qualities are very nice and soft touch right over here you have the same uh, trim as on which was on the doors as well and you can see the same silver trim uh, is also covered or uh, it covers the ventilation then again you have a lot more silver trim here again this is soft touch and then you have leather at the bottom of the center console and overall the center console feels pretty nice and solid and well built overall pretty nice and now i'll talk about the changes that bmw have done for the 2022 model year and that's these two displays over here uh, so both are 12.3 inches this is obviously a touch screen and this is your uh, digital instrument cluster now for which is uh, newly designed for the 22 model year the previous one did not have uh, this full digital one and also you do get the new iDrive 7 system as well so now let's take a look at uh, what are the changes here so sorry if uh, it's a bit reflective just because it's uh, pretty bright outside so the display is a bit uh, reflective i'll just zoom in for you guys so it'll be a bit clearer for you so here you can see you have your uh, fuel level range time uh, total trip then which drive mode you are in that's your uh, temperature outside temperature and that's your engine temperature then here you have your rev counter which i'll just start the car for you guys so there we go so now you can see it everything clearly so you can see the x4 which shows up in the middle okay a lot of beeps and sounds okay so here you can also see your speedometer which moves in the right direction but the uh, rev counter moves in the opposite direction just like in aston martins then uh, you have your uh, map in the middle and you have an M logo right over here and this one you can see right now it's showing the G meter but uh, like I told you if I use uh, this button right over here it will change the displays over there so right now it will show me the location it just changed that over there then it changes over here so currently no active entertainment source so that is for your media then uh, let's change to okay so this shows you your drive mode and your uh, gear indicator uh, that gives it the priority then you have your uh, this is for your fuel efficiency then this is for your trip meter and these are your newton meter and kilowatt so kilowatt is basically horsepower and newton meter is uh, newton meter is your torque so that's all the functionality in the instrument cluster overall i think it's pretty okay but uh, i think i would have loved to see bmw put some more functionality which i think they have done though in the new uh, iDrive i think iDrive 8 system so that is available in the uh, iX and the i4 i believe so they have a lot more functionality in that but here we come to the new display with the iDrive 7 so it is a larger display than the previous model year obviously it's touch sensitive so it's the basic BMW iDrive system so you have your media controls right here you have your uh, communications you have your navigation if you click that you get a nice big map here and then you have some more car settings right over here so you can take a look at the driving information if you want you have some sport displays as well which shows your g meter uh, then boost pressure temperature all that stuff then you can go back and then you can take a look at the x view so x view is basically your off-road uh, mode where you can see the pitch and roll and it also shows you the, uh, your compass then you can go back you can see your energy flow now you can see the currently the engine is turned on so it's just showing that then we can go back and take a look at the vehicle status so it shows you your tire pressure oil level all that stuff then you can go to settings and you have a lot more like driving mode you can set it up as your according to your preference and all that stuff right over there then we have driver profiles etc then here in the apps you do have the apple carplay and android auto it is wireless so pretty nice overall that's all the functionality over here then we come to the ac vents 
so the ac vents or uh, the climate control system you have over here you have two buttons though so these are for the hazards and your 360 sense uh, safety systems and here you can see the max heater and rear heater this is for your auto then this is to control your uh, temperature and uh, airflow then this is for your fan speed overall so pretty nice and i like it that they have kept it separate from the infotainment display and it's better uh, hard buttons are always better then we come down below so these are your radio controls so you have a nice volume button right here then this is for your mode then uh, these buttons are touch sensitive though so over here you can see when i move my finger across them so it uh, registers those uh, touch so pretty nice it also okay so bmw have remo removed the cd player because usually they did have that then you have this seek buttons right over here then we come to the bottom and you can see you have an x4 logo here if you go for the m40i you'll get an m logo over there then this part storage cubby is covered so let's open it up for some reason it's not opening i don't want to break it <laughs> okay so for some reason it was not opening though okay so here you have a usb port and um, some storage space but uh, if you want you can get a wireless charger right over here then you have two cup holders which can adjust uh, or according to the size of the bottle so overall pretty nice and you have a 12 volt socket right over here then we come to the center console so this is also changed a lot for uh, when compared to the previous model year so the eye drive controller is also new you have this touch sensitive right here and then uh, you have your shortcut buttons some more over here so overall pretty nice then the gear selector has also changed and then some buttons over here so this is to turn off your traction control this is for your camera parking sensors and auto start stop then this is for your start engine then you have some drive mode buttons here which i'll show it to you right now so currently we are in comfort then we can go into sport the you can see the display just changed slightly and then we can go into eco pro and then it changes again you get a blue display everywhere even on the center console as well or the center display so that's all we'll keep it in comfort then we have some more buttons so this is for your hill descent and auto hold then this is your electronic parking brake so overall that's all and uh, you can see when i go or to go into drive you can just press this button on the side and it goes into drive then half click to neutral and again a full click to reverse and when we go into reverse you have your uh, parking cameras which show up right over here so you can see uh, the guidelines move and overall the camera quality is pretty nice and we can take a look at a 3d view as well so as i move the iDrive controller we can take a look around the car and i think this is one of the best in the business so pretty nice and it's also a color match to the car as well so that's all then um, we can go into parking mode again and we can, one more thing when we go into drive so this is your view for your front camera again you get your guidelines though so pretty nice then one thing though uh, when you go back or switch to parking it doesn't automatically change the display so that's one thing and then let's take a look at the armrest so nice and soft we open it up so you have some nice decent amount of storage space with some more small cubbies you have a usb-c port and that's all also this is also a storage space for your coins and stuff so overall that's all then you have a glove box which is pretty decent size though but one thing i don't like they have done is uh, this partition it uh, just uh, constricts you with the space inside so that's one thing they should have uh, not done though overall but uh, the quality of the glove box is pretty nice and it's lined with felt so nothing inside will scratch then let's take a look at the rear view mirror i hope i can show you the clarity though i think you cannot see the space exactly or how uh, the view is from the back then let's take a look at uh, the lights so you have a I do like the design of the BMW central lighting central uh, lighting though overall it's pretty nice then you have the control for your panoramic sunroof which I'll just open it for you guys so you can see you have a nice big panoramic sunroof which goes all the way to the back so pretty nice then you have some visors up top and pretty small vanity mirrors though so they are pretty small and you have a nice uh, LED or it's not an LED just a standard light up top that's all in the front and uh, one more thing the space of the car so now i am six foot uh, five or six foot four actually with uh, like that's like 195 centimeters though and uh, i'm pretty comfortable in these sport seats i don't have any issues or i don't feel constricted in space i have the driving seat in my driving position which is pretty low to the ground and um, 
the visibility all around is pretty nice also i'll just show it to you by my point of view if i can and also you can see the headroom despite having the sunroof i have a lot, nice amount of uh, head space right over here and i can pretty comfortably sit and drive in this car i don't have an issue with that so that's all and in terms of the visibility like i wanted to show you so this is somewhat from my point of view and you can also see the heads up display right over there i'll just zoom in for you guys so that is the heads up display and uh, overall the corners and everything i can pretty nicely judge the car itself and now let's uh, jump into the back seat and we'll take a look at the space over there okay so here we are at the back seat of the x4 and the door trim is similar to the one in the front so nice soft touch material up top with the same trim uh, over here and also you have that same led lighting strip down over here and i just hope i can zoom it or uh, focus properly then you have the nice silver trim down at the bottom and you also have an x logo embossed right here you have a speaker grill here and the armrest is again in that same nice leather which is nice and soft touch with your window controls right here and another speaker grill and also a pretty nice amount of door storage for you guys and also this part is nice and soft touch one thing which i think is uh, a difference between the x3 and the x4 is the amount of uh, or the angle of which the door opens at so i think it's uh, pretty less and also with the sloping roof line the way you enter the vehicle also is a bit changed so you have to bend a bit more to get inside especially in my case because i'm a tall guy so let's sit inside also one small thing i forgot to show you is this uh, button over here or a latch it's for you guys to adjust the recline of the rear seats and also uh, let me just check yeah and this is how you fold your rear seats with the uh, button up top or latch up top again so you can see you get a nice flat floor over here so let's jump inside now okay so as you can see i do not have a lot of space if i sit exactly behind me though uh, i can just uh, barely fit behind myself and uh, i think i can adjust it uh, for some time i won't mind but uh, taller passengers should definitely sit uh, behind the passenger seat uh, if uh, the passenger sitting inside or in the front is shorter than uh, six foot four so you will you will have some space but overall you can see i have a pretty good amount of um, foot space down at the bottom but uh, the only thing is the knee room and after the knee room i'll tell you one more thing but you can see some storage space right over here and uh, you have some nice uh, climate control vents here with your uh, controls for your uh, temperature auto and that's all and then you have two usb c's at the bottom then you can see you have a transmission transmission tunnel over here and because of that you cannot uh, sit three people side by side in this car it is uh, narrower and i do know that this is a compact uh, suv it's not uh, a mid-size suv so that is something we can forgive then the seats themselves you can see they look pretty nice and you have the same pattern as the seats in the front and you have uh, isofix covers which push inside and also one nice touch that bmw do is uh, i'll just show it to you from here you can see the leather extends all the way to the outside uh, so that's pretty nice and it is uh, pretty nice and soft here so you will feel very comfortable so the main thing is uh, obviously this uh, the headroom which i told you will be a problem for me so you can see uh, despite uh, me sitting uh, pretty back far back i'm having a lot of trouble keeping my head straight and i'll have to keep it sideways like this so this part obviously eats up in the headroom over here because of the mechanism for the panoramic sunroof they have carved out some space here but still i cannot sit comfortably uh, it's all because of that sloping roof line so if uh, this is an advice from me though if you know that you have a lot of tall people that will be sitting at the back so don't go for the x4 just go for the x3 so they will be a lot more comfortable at the back but if you know that you will be mostly carrying children at the back then i think you can go for the x4 because different passenger and driver seats are pretty good the only thing is the headroom at the back which uh, taller people like me won't be comfortable here so that's all and uh, you do have some nice uh, lights over here which you can turn them on and i think this is a hook yep that's all so that was the video on the bmw x4 hope you enjoyed it a lot and uh, if you did let me know in the comments down below of uh, what features you did like about the x4 itself so what do i think about the car personally bmw cars are one of my favorites 
and the X4 is no exception. Uh, I do like everything, the design of the car and uh, the front driving and drivers and passenger seats, the technology, everything else. The only thing for me though is uh, the back seat, that's a bit of a disadvantage. But uh, you can easily go for the X3 if you, you do know that you will need a lot more space at the back seats and also you will need a lot of boot space. So if you do know that, just go for the X3. But uh, I think if you know that you won't be carrying a lot of uh, people in the back seats, like mostly children, and you won't be carrying a lot of big items in the boot space, then I think an X4 is a good choice. Uh, just be, remember one fact that uh, BMW personalization goes uh, pretty expensive and also the X4 is already more expensive than the standard X3. So keeping that in mind, thanks for watching guys, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications and see you in the next video. Bye bye.